It's like one of mine and Prod's dream teams, but right, okay. really easy, like all easy. Me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Does does uh, T Money still wrestle in WF? I haven't. I mean, I've only been to shows this year, but uh, uh, the last time he wrestled for us, it was like a probably. street fight in Fairfield, like a couple of years ago. Okay, and then he. I mean, it's. I don't know what the situation is with that. Honestly, I know it's nothing negative. Like he, like he didn't like leave on any negative terms or anything. I think it's just just right. one of those things to where it's like he's very picky. I guess I don't. I I don't know. I don't know. Okay, maybe he just lost the itch, or or did, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> either way, it was good. Oh, either way, I mean, it's good to see him on Dynamite. You know, right, get right. National right, attention yeah. like that is freaking great. I I love that AAW does that. They bring in like you know local people. Uh, I don't yeah. remember. I don't remember who who was on last time they were in town. Uh, anybody from NWF see, last time around? <clears throat> we were at that show too, but I wasn't hip to the NWF roster yet. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't. I didn't have a clue. I want to say was back then. I want to say crew maybe. Uh, I mean, Nevea was on there. I I vaguely remember. Because I remember, like, oh, that's Nevea, cool. Yeah. Uh, I think Shauna Reed was on there. If you guys know who she is, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think any NWF people. No, because I, I know I think Crew was in Indy and then maybe Cleveland. That's what it was. That's what it was. Because oh, I do remember there being Indianapolis. I do one. remember seeing him in Cleveland. I didn't know who he was then, but I remember me and uh, Brando were at the Cleveland show. Yeah, um, that was a good one to be at. Oh, yeah. Cody Rhodes, last AEW match, ladder match against Sammy Guevara. Dan Housen, had no idea who the hell that was. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who the hell? Is... What? Okay, it's a clown. That was, Dan that was Couch's first, like, AEW <laughs> event. Like, I think you had been watching the show for, what, like two weeks previous no, to that? I haven't watched the show yet. That was my well, first, yeah, that was was your first minute. one. I was going to go. <laughs> That's amazing. I was going to go with, uh, like, I mean, Couch has been a wrestling fan for. Yeah. Years the story years, about years, me but... is I literally got out because I was in WWE hardcore for a long time. And then the Roman Reigns saga bullshit started. And then the <laughs> Oost one. It, and it was like, Jesus Christ, <clears throat> stabbed me in the neck with a spork. And it. <laughs> Call me done. <laughs> It just kept going and going. Finally, I was like, dude, I'm done. I'm not watching any more wrestling. And then Maffey was always telling me, Maffey and Mr. Magnificent were always telling me about AEW. I was like, that sounds cool, but like, I don't know if I'm not into it anymore. And then finally, he, he said, hey, man, I got some tickets. You want to go? I was like, yeah, sure. went there. It was just like a, I was at a kid in a candy store. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. And then when I watched, I came to NWF's first thing. That's when it really got bad. That's when it was like. Yeah, it, was that I got first the first indie show ever. Yes, NWS oh, was. Yeah. Well, no, technically chair. not. Technically, I went to one when I was like five. But well, that doesn't count. You probably don't remember. That yeah. doesn't count. Yeah. Um. Well, anyway, I started recording just in case there was anything funny that came out of it. We can make bits. Oh, with, absolutely. But, uh, <laughs> oh, we can roll. Uh, we can I roll will, the like, intro. I will say, are we live? Me, uh, no, just record. Live, pal. Um. I was going to say that at the Cleveland show, that was when Dan Housen debuted and I knew who he was. So like he came out and I started going nuts and couch is like, who the fuck is this guy? You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he didn't have a clue. And I was like, what the fuck? And then people yeah. were just going, Dan Housen. What the hell's a Dan Housen? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that dude right there. And then there, he cursed him. What do you mean he cursed him? He cursed him couch. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, what he didn't have a clue. Him, but we, so we, we drove up and back same night. We didn't stay up there. Uh, so I was like, man, we got like a four and a half hour drive home. I, you're basically indie wrestlers. <laughs> you're I, basically, yeah. <laughs> you're basically uh, indie wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a couple bumps away from being indie wrestlers. Right. <laughs> you, we're we're going to yeah. do that fantasy camp and we are in. Yeah. yeah um, that's what I was just telling Co Kobe. Oh, I was yeah. like, man, I don't. I'm excited. I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited, but I am I'm certainly excited. not excited to get my ass whooped. <laughs> hey, you'll be all right. Because uh, right. I, I got so yeah. much respect for you guys already, but I I'm just want to do it. Just be like, 
Yeah, that shit hurts. Yeah. I said I it would just make my respect go that much higher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um but yeah, anyway, so that was that was a lot of fun kind of introducing him to that and the whole ride home, I was just like, here, I just pulled up Dan Housen's YouTube and just had him watch all his videos. <laughs> For four and a half hours. <laughs> he, got a, he, 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 he fell asleep on that, like, two hours into it. But, you know, um, it was still it was oh, a yeah. good time. Good time. Um, bu- 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 well. Got me an NWF. Now, now I'm, I'm fucking addicted again. I know. It's great. So what, was your, first, so what was your first NWF show then? What was it? You guys know more than I, uh, the, the Wow, he show. was even yeah, there. Uh, you know, um, even... I know. Mine was the show we were just at Hits. I don't think it had a special name. It was just NWF at the uh, Hit and Run. I don't think it was it a was special the, show. It was the one at Hit, hit and Run. At, at, the, hit at, run. at the beginning of man. October. It was the one, at, the one okay. at Hits at the beginning of October. Um, uh, yeah. That basically no. set up Spooktacular. Um, because like Kyron came back, yeah. and uh, God, I can't remember. Um, was that. that was a really good show, was, though. I don't know if it where... was Kobe. I think it was Kobe. I think it was you. It was the very first time I'd seen you, and I was like, Jesus Christ. And I was just talking to Mappy. I was like, <laughs> Well, that was you guys against uh, uh, appreciate that. Well, we, we call them into sadness. Um, that's fair, that's fair. That's, fair. Yeah. that's pretty much what it door. is. Uh, Couple of dorks. Bombs. We, uh, you, you gotta, you gotta see some of the memes Mike's made. They're I've fantastic. Seen a of them, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you see the one he made of uh, Wildcat and AJ? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I was very <laughs> proud of that. I was laughing so freaking hard to that. So, it, it was funny cover. It was funny because we get we get to the venue and I usually get there. I'm usually one of the first ones to get there and i'm i'm setting up i'm help setting up the sound stuff and i turn around and i genuinely thought it was cat for like two minutes <laughs> i bet he was loving it too <laughs> and because he had because you gotta understand cat cat comes in with a speedway cup of coffee and his black notebook and he's ready to come up to tell me that i suck and i need to hit the gym those are the two things <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said he's like noah don't do the submission tonight and hit the gym and they just walked away and i was like oh, okay and then his wife is like right behind him dressed as macho man and that popped yes <laughs> that's that was pretty you gotta good, hit the, that, that was pretty good yeah. that was pretty good but it was funny because he's like hit the gym and then like all throughout the, the night like he was like telling people like their you know fake endings to their match like like he was going with the swing, you're like, hey, you're dropping it tonight. <laughs> well, like it's it's a funny six too, man tag. How? <laughs> like what sold it for me was the sunglasses and then the headband. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. And then the hair drooping over the headband. I was like, is what you have to do a double take when you go past him because wait, is that <laughs> who took me a second, but AJ's a lot uh has a, a thinner profile than right. than right. Chris does. Right. Well, Cat did too when he was like first starting out like oh yeah yeah like he was he was kind of built like aj and that's what makes it even scarier too (laughs) (laughs) well i said we said we were at uh what one were we at mike the vfw the fight for the future of the vfw hall and uh i think you guys went against shark Shark brothers Brothers. the shark brothers Brothers. yeah the shark Shark brothers Brothers. shark h-a-r-t shark yeah Uh, clean victory and this chumps jump you from behind unbelievable yeah but i said that that was the first time we had watched aj wrestle and um me and mike were like man he kind of looks like edge i was like yeah he looks like edge and like jungle boy had a baby like he's got the (laughs) hair jungle boy jack perry and like the profile The hair is everything. Yeah, I remember, oh. I remember telling you that, Big Rick. When I saw him, I was like, yes, that is 100% accurate. <laughs> Edge and yep. Jungle Boy. So, yep. so, so Prob will back me up together. on this. Prob will back me up on this. So when he first started coming around, he didn't always have that long hair. And I could probably find pictures if I look, but he had like short, the short hair Jufro thing going Oh, yeah. On. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, 
going back what? to the cat thing where he's like, hey, hit the gym, but not to AJ. It was, hey, grow your hair out. <laughs> <And> it was... <laughs> it's... It's funny, too, because the first time I met AJ was actually at a hits event and he hadn't even started yet. Yeah. And he came up to me and he's like, hey, so like, this is awesome. How do I get into it? And then I pointed him right to Roger Ruffin and I said, go talk to him. And then Roger Roger pointed to me. It was like, hey, go talk to him. (laughs) (laughs) Tell him to hit the gym. (laughs) Yeah, tell him to grow his hair out and hit the gym and then go talk to Noah. (laughs) Just sending him around in a circle. All right. (laughs) See if I can find one. If I can. Man. So what's every time I see Roger, he's like, okay. you know. Can you? Oh. Can we, yes. yes. Go down. Go down. Is that, that's, are they intentionally the doing step brothers, or is yeah. that just? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's so. Oh, awesome. that ain't right. Aww. That ain't right. But he's got such a nice smile. He so, does. Like he's he he's does. for sure gonna have a hair versus hair match at some point, right? Oh, one hundred percent. Like oh, has yes. to. Oh. <gasps> Maybe against Cat. Versus, yeah, Cat uh, would be cool. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I know no Wildcat way. cracked me up at the Spooktacular. I don't who was it? Somebody was getting hit after the bell, and it, it was a, like a silence. And I was young. Wildcat. He just kind of looked over, and I was like, "What the hell are you doing? Help me!" Like, oh, like, Come on. <laughs> that was great. That's our boss. Yes. <laughs> Did he look at you say, "I'm in a suit"? What do you want me to do? <laughs> no, he yeah. Right. Was like, he was back at the back at the announcer's table, and I was just like, hey, I don't want to hear that. I watched him come out and rip that blazer right off and start beating the shit out of Sean Evans. <laughs> <in the laughs> one city brewing, so. Like, enough's enough, god dang it. <laughs> he shot popped me, man. Did he punch Sean one time, and he did a flip? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was my so favorite the part shit of- out of it. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, the conditions got to be perfect my daughter for that. Did that one. Yeah, yeah. But I the took conditions got to be that perfect. One. That was that was awesome. He's got to be um, going downwind, knee pads on, on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, cat's God. not going for it. Who is it? Perfect seen wrestling without knee pads. Oh no! Oh no! God, I think it was somebody in uh, oh. FG, FGW was doing it. It looked hmm. painful. Let's say Slinger used to not wrestle in knee pads. I mean, I guess you get calloused after a while, but my goodness, man, just like I may just got like rug burn, you know, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I've only felt the texture of the ring. I never stepped foot in it. My issue would be like if you get would like get like thrown out and like the side of the knee would like smack the side of the apron. That Um, would be my fear. Hardest part of the ring, according to Jim Ross. (laughs) He'll let let you know about it. (laughs) Yes, he will. (laughs) Every single time. That's one of our like running jokes. Like every time we're watching Dynamite, and if somebody hits the apron, we'll be like, "Hardest part of the ring." <laughs> every <laughs> indie show we go to, <laughs> or if you yeah. hear Tope Suicida, yeah, that's yeah. us. Just screaming it. <laughs> any any anytime somebody does uh, a spine buster, it's shades of Arn Anderson. Um, or, or what about spine on the pine? Spine on the pine. Spine on the pine. <laughs> I just I love I love Jr's like old obscure like shades of Dory Funk Jr. and I'm like dude Jr. like eighty percent of the people watching have no idea who you're talking about. My like, favorite, it's true. My favorite is when he'll be like, "Yeah, this guy he was he was captain of his chess team at the University of Wisconsin." Like Jr. Nobody cares. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like nobody cares. <laughs> So he's a real strategist. <laughs> this man was captain of the debate club at Oklahoma University. Go Sooners. <laughs> Fellow Sooner. Go, go yeah. Sooners. Boomer, Boomer Sooner. <laughs> Buy my barbecue sauce. Um, and you, you have know, Paul Heyman next to him like, what are you talking about? Yeah, we love we love good old JR. Um, Mine and, and the that's one. That's one of my favorite things about uh, just commentators in general is they all have like their little quirks. Like that's yeah. just one of my favorite. They're like uh, well, we always make fun of Excalibur because he will yell "Tope Suicida" at the top of his lungs <laughs> every time. If you hear that, mm-hmm. it, that's me. That is me and Mike. Yeah. Tope Suicida. <laughs> so basically, every match me and Prod have at this point. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah We're much. always. Yep. We always like show up late or like I never want to stand in line, so I just show up whenever. But you know, we got we always get first 
so we always get like the backside or you know so it's we we never get the so you got one of these times you guys got to jump towards us yeah. yeah but you sit sit on the hard cam side we will <laughs> There's just diehard oh, people that show up an hour and a half early. Yeah. That's shit to do. Like this Doris? <laughs> yes. God bless It's like them. the same. Yeah. God bless And them. that's what kills me, man, is you got all these people that, like, they're there for every show. And, like, I'll, I'll watch them because I'm, like, I, I don't understand it sometimes. Like, wrestling crowds, like, when people are just sitting there, like, hmm. And, like, you got to get them into the match. And I'm, like, didn't you pay money to come here? Are you excited to be here? Like. <laughs> I understand some matches like aren't for everybody, but like you shouldn't have to get people going for everything. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. It's just like, we're, I feel like we're over there like going nuts and marking oh, out yes. and everything. And then there's other people that are just like, well, yep, it's cool. Like, and I'm like, dude, I've seen you at the, like the last six shows. What are you doing? <laughs> it's just pet peeve. Yeah. Sometimes that's part of the fun. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get them to crack, getting, getting, yep. get, getting people going, yeah. You know, or, or, or what really what I enjoy is like the opposite end of the spectrum. Like you have like those quote unquote like you guys are cool, you guys play along, but there are yeah. some that like go the direct opposite of what you're trying to accomplish. <laughs> yeah. And if you can get those people, that's what I enjoy doing. Yeah, yeah. you know, you, you know, you're doing something right. Right. Yeah. Right. For sure. For sure. No, I've really enjoyed, like, especially online, like us and uh, Evans and uh, Titan, like, we'll go after each other, you know, commenting online and stuff. And it's that just, was awesome. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Well, that's because they got nothing else better. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, all, all Sean then, thinks about is, oh, man, I hope that kid's there so I can take his cotton candy. Take his candy. Mm, candy. <laughs> He acts like he doesn't eat candy, but he literally steals it every time. So I don't know. Waiting know. on that cotton candy. Shout out to Sean Evans. We used to, we used to have a fan bring cosmic brownies for so for Star Rider. <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> he, 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 yeah, yes. and he was like they, forever. He was trying. You know how like in like some like indie places, like the like the fans will throw like streamers or whatever. Yeah, he oh, was yeah. trying to do one of those, but with cosmic brownies. <laughs> Just launching cosmic oh brownies gosh. in the ring. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Next time I see him, I'm gonna talk. Hey man, I heard you like cosmic brownies. You no, I'm, no, I'm just gonna bring him one. That'll be yeah, the, that'll like be the, the next. Spring, like... uh, <laughs> that'll be the next Matt Cardona and GCW winning the title over Nick Gage, and everybody throwing beer bottles and shit at him. Everybody just <laughs> Star Rider loses. Everybody just starts launching cosmic brownies <laughs> at whoever beats him. <laughs> that'll be awesome. I, I've seen it where they throw toilet paper and like a lot of toilet paper into the ring during a match. Well, that was a thing in Ring of Honor for a while, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. The streamers. Yeah. Oh, I loved yeah. it, and I love that aesthetic. Love mm -hmm. it. That's indie wrestling. That's yeah, that. Right. That was my first experience. Was uh, a Dayton Ring of Honor show back in the. I went to high school with BJ Whitmer, so when I heard he was on oh, the no card, shit. I was like, "Well, I got to check this out." Yeah. And uh, I mean, it'd be like Samoa Joe, AJ Styles in his youth, CM Punk, Chris Hero, uh, Claudio. I mean, freaking everybody who's anybody now was, you know an indie wrestler back then and it was so freaking cool and that's you know i can't believe i got so far away from it and it took me till this year to finally catch the hometown show and yeah you know i'm just yeah. sorry that it took me so long bj and chad or carl anderson they were like really good friends and they ha and we had them wrestle on a fan fest one year and it's like really started, yeah and this huh. was back when Carl Anderson was still in New Japan and BJ was still in Ring of Honor. So we built it as like a cross oh, okay. interpromotional interpromotion oh, wow. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I bet that was awesome. Yeah. And there's footage of it somewhere. I'm sure if I I'm sure if I ask around, I can probably find it. But yeah. I mean, I feel like BJ Carl Whitmer's Anderson sister should, was super should, hot. Should back in come, the day. Uh, <laughs> to an NWF show. I mean, he's working every other promotion for <laughs> Sure, sure. I mean, brother just like went back to high school. He's like, dude. It's like it's I started like thinking about partying with BJ Whitmer because he was my cousin's <laughs> age. He was a couple years older. And they figured, uh, anyway, he had a badass mustache. It was like too. the first mom man. bit from American Pop, yeah. but yeah. CJ's sister. Yes. <sighs> She's older than me, so I got Whitmer's <laughs> sister. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not on next week, I'm grounded. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm to do. Oh, like man. Said, oh, we're not. We're recording. Never mind. I'll just edit that shit out. Yeah. <laughs> we're not live. <laughs> we're not live, pal. You said, you said this that is magnificent. Anyway, so we're right fine. There. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Uh, magnificent moment. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Brandon, man. we're gonna need we're gonna need you uh, inspecting. Yeah, yeah. So we can edit. <laughs> ha ha! I understood that reference. You sacrilegious <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Eric, do you want to? Should we roll the intro to or? Do you just keep rolling questions? Or? I'd say just keep doing. I'm sure. We, can we like? Yeah, I'm sure we can edit it. We can edit, it, just edit. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll edit it in post. Too far in. Do it in post. I'll yeah, I'll figure out how to do that. Um. Yeah. I mean, we never really did an intro, but whatever. Uh. Well, for anybody that is watching, we have with us tonight the NWF Tag Team Champions, Mr. Kobe Kane and Noah Gabriel. Welcome, fellas. Hello. Thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for Absolutely. having us. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to try to get uh try to get all the champions on here. We got Star Rider, we got the tag champs. Now we need to get uh Swinger on here, get some Beck Reeves going. I'm glad Beck's got it now. I don't want to interview James Cross. No, Oosh. that's understandable. No. no, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> you're doing it. You're, you're trying to get, no, I'm not trying to get new viewers, not for him to sleep with his 20 minute right. model. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, that uh, that promo video though for uh, him and Beck before their match it's was good. awesome. That it was, was amazing. Really but, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I don't. But I feel like he deserved because it was such a good job. Uh, you can thank Zachary Ryan for that. He really was able to put that together. Yeah. So that, yeah, that was to really him. nice because it was super, really good. Nice. And he and brother brother kicks butt and commentary and all that. To, and you know, as somebody mm-hmm. who paid his dues in that field of professional wrestling you know you don't get mm-hmm. thanked out a lot so zach yeah. if you're listening good absolutely job, yeah, good job zach i enjoyed it, it how'd made you guys it... get your start did you guys do the fantasy factory too or did you guys no you will start no you can no you can take this one. Oh, you want me to start okay um well i like a lot of people in this profession i grew up a fan right? right and then um you know you're going through life and you find yourself um, looking for something, maybe maybe something a little more fulfilling, if you mm-hmm. will. And uh, this is the know. start of my life. Yes. Currently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I then um, like where this is going. I found Roger Ruffin. I found the NWF and I walked in, paid my hundred bucks. And then I started. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my story is pretty similar. Um, I was 19 when I started and I'm 23 now. So I've been doing this for. Probably four, four Just and a half a years. baby. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, ch- I'm a literal fetus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, sure. His yeah. Belly button still healing. Yeah. <laughs> I get, I get <laughs> um, That's why it doesn't grow facial hair. Mike, Got Mike it. was, Mike was talking about Ring of Honor in 2007, and Noah was like, "God, this guy's old." Uh-huh. <laughs> I said, no, I, got, I, got, I love Ring of Honor now. But uh, no, so I was I was I was, I was nineteen. What's a VHS? And... Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> I know what those are. Like I know what Blockbuster is, guys. Like yeah. I'm... What's, what's, what's tape trading? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, so I was I was nineteen, and uh, I hit a point in my life where uh, I I, I kind of hit a low, and I'm in my life. I've always kind of been good about like avoiding what ifs in my life and i thought to myself you know i'm only gonna be 19 once might as well do it and we'll just see what happens so you know did some research and long story less long uh in may of 2018 i signed my name the dotted line hand raj my hundred dollars and here i am there you go so how like how intense is the initial like startup? I mean, you guys going like four or five days a week, or is it just like once or twice a week? Because I mean, imagine you guys still got to you know hold a you know regular shoot job just to right. live a life. Yeah, unless you have yeah. sugar mamas. Yeah, 
Well, we knows, the, knows the baby, so. Um, no. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Sugar oh, cougar? Right. I don't know, dude. All right. All right, dog. It's fine. It's fine. Sugar no, cougar. Um, no, it, uh, training's twice a week. Um, every once in a while, a, uh, you know, if somebody, if one of the older guys are feeling, you know, generous, I'll throw in a Sunday training, a uh, morning Sunday training. Um, and then, yeah, just showing up on Saturday, show days, um, you know, helping set up the ring, you know, do security, pretty much whatever's needed. And then, um, yeah, when they, when they feel like, you know, you're ready, they'll let you know. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. That, you know, I so, do see that, know, though. We've already seen, like, guys that, you know, work security or, you know, work behind the cameras or help set up and stuff, you know. I've even seen them going to other companies and seeing guys that I've seen work security at one company and, mm -hmm. you know, they're working, working a gimmick at a, at a different company. So it's yeah. really cool to see. And it's nice that everybody plays that part and it's kind of almost like an apprenticeship, you know, I guess. Yeah. Right. And kind of what probably kind of piggybacking off what Prada is saying, you know, that's just <clears> the WF <throat> schedule, you know, not, mm -hmm. that's not to mention once you get to a certain point in your career, you know, you're not taking Friday booking, Sunday night booking, you know, all you know, that's just once you get to that point. Right. Uh, and, and in terms of like the security and paying your dues thing, my path was a little different. Uh, I started, so I was going to start as the referee to the, to the wrestler, but then I was pulled aside on Covington and uh, they were like, Hey, read this poster for us. Why? Just read it as if you were an announcer. Okay. And I did, I did it. And then two weeks later, they, my face was all over busting loose. I was on commentary. Huh? I, yeah. So I started as an announcer and a commentator and I did that for about two years and I'm getting deja vu because a similar situation happened with me. That's happening with AJ right now, but it was right. Sean Evans. Okay. So, so it's, it, it's, fun, it's, it's cool watching him. You know, kind of in the same in, in a similar spot I was in, but at the same time, I, I I know his grind, and you know, it's a similar grind that I had to do. And you're not yeah, too far away from it now that right, right, be empathetic about it. <laughs> right, right. All right. And to be honest, you guys, did you guys just come in like already in decent shape? Were you guys out of shape when you came in, or what? Cat told me to get in the gym the minute I met, I met him. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been the same the last four years. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it, nothing's changed. Same deal, yeah. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, you guys talk about, you know, working out or training twice a week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Training twice a week, and that doesn't even account for, you know, having to, you know, right. do your workouts. I'm sure, you know, cardio is definitely a key part. Although, you know, with tag team wrestling, as we – We've interviewed uh, a different tag team, and they said that is kind of the benefit of tag team wrestling is that you kind of can, you know, give each other a break if needed, or you know, well, you do have that benefit. But I don't know. You guys are all over the place, so I don't no, know yeah. you guys. Even on the cardio thing, I mean, you can come in and in shape. Um, you can have the best cardio, but that in ring cardio, it's total. Mm -hmm. That's what they were different. saying too. Totally yeah, it's different. like you won't get it until you are doing yep. matches because yep. it's not. Running on a treadmill, it's not running a marathon. It's a whole different type of movement. So, yep. yeah. And you can teach yourself different, like, you can do like really high interval cardio training because I've even done that, like, on ellipticals and stuff. And it helps to say that it doesn't, it, I'd be lying to you. Right. But, like, Prod said, like, there, there's no cardio, like, in ring cardio because, you know, you're going a million miles an hour and then you're stopping. And then mm -hmm. you're going a million miles an hour for longer and then you're stopping. And I, I, I kind of made up this term. There's tag wrestler cardio and there's singles wrestler cardio. And like you were yeah, saying, yeah. tag wrestler cardio is a lot better than singles wrestler cardio. Because <laughs> I got I could just tag Prod in and he can do his cool things and he'll tag me back in and Jeez. I'll do some more cool things. And, yeah. So. You get to pretend to take a nap on the outside. and Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the, the Somebody classic. just lay me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So is that, is that how they do it? Is you guys just like kind of just, I mean, you guys obviously wrestle and, and they're, they're teaching you moves and techniques and stuff. Do you guys like do amateur matches or like warm up matches? And then when they, like you guys said, when they feel you're ready, they let you know. Um, it, it's kind of, 
yes and no. Um, everybody learns at their own pace. Um, oh, okay. So it's not like, okay, you learn this move, this move, this move, and then we're going to give you a match. There. No, yeah. yeah. I'll give you an example. Um, Andrew Reed was in the Future Stars division for four months before he got called up to the main roster. Uh, there's other guys that have been training for a year and a half and are just now getting their first stack of matches. Okay. It just, it, it all depends on how quickly you're, you're gaining it. Uh, I'll, to say that a little bit of it has to do with just being a freak natural, like again, like Andrew. Yeah, Reed. I, haven't, I mean, some people are just naturally athletic and get it. Right. You know? Right. And Not everybody's Kurt angle. No, right. no. <laughs> and broken freaking neck. But with that being said, in training, once once they feel you are slowly getting to that point to be put on cards, then they'll probably have you do training matches for a couple of weeks. And then Raj and Kat will kind of see where you're at and kind of gauge where you're ready. And then that's where the future stars. I love you too, baby. Aw. Good night. Good night. We ain't the dad world order for nothing, man. (laughs) To work, bro. No, I'm joking. But uh <laughs> Shoot, brother. Let's yeah. be women's Bluetooth champion. Speaker. Right? You guys just give me a little bit. <laughs> but no, then that's where and as I was saying, that's kind of where the future stars kind of came into play. It was kind of more of a learning tool. Now the future stars is this whole big thing. They're but like the rip- NXT to the right, right. And when so, when all it was was a simple learning tool for these these young wrestlers to perform in front of an audience it's because there comes all there also comes a point in training to where how you interact with the crowd you know like do you mm-hmm. have that it factor do you have that connection with the crowd and if if so awesome if not okay what can we do to improve upon that so right. you guys oh, get cool to see i, I like, to, we I got like to my, see one of those I fight for like, the future events at you know and you know, seeing like you guys go up against, you know, somebody who's, you know, not as well seasoned as you guys and the Sharp Brothers, you know, it's fun to see and you guys give him back, you know, even though you wipe the mat with them. Hey, they had us reeling there for a minute. Yeah, they took a cheap <laughs> shot. Let's <laughs> Jumps. Yeah, forget about it. It was a fugazi. Um, it's a fugazi. It's a fugazi. <laughs> Chef's <Pepperoni>. kiss. Oh. <laughs> Good old sharp bros. I'll tell you. Do you guys have like do you guys have the knots, the old butterflies before you go out there, or is it you guys are just veterans now? It doesn't even bother you. Oh, still still butterflies. Still butterflies. Hundred percent. and honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Yeah. Right. Um, like- there, there's there's nothing like it. Or, or there's there's nothing like the pre match pee. Yeah. Where, 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 where maybe maybe you you've pissed like three or four times. And then your music's yep. about to hit, and then as soon as your music hits, you don't got to pee anymore. And you just go out and do your thing. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. I wish I could have a camera or like have like a tally counter because I can't tell you how many times Prods looked at me. He's like, "Dog, I got to pee," and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "It's like, well, what do you want me to do about it, dog?" He's uh, like, "I don't know, man." Well, it, look, and then bulletproof by Godsmack plays, and we're we're good to go. We're fine. That's right? Yeah, <laughs> we're good to go. Uh, speaking yep, of yep. theme songs, the fact that. Uh, the Sharp Brothers don't come up, don't come out to the uh, Sopranos and uh, intro song. Is that is the uh, Sopranos a, a federal crime? That is the Sopranos. Did they, did they, did they the come Sopranos. out to it? Yeah. yeah, I thought they came out to something woke else. Up. No, did it is the Sopranos. Sopranos. Woke up. This okay, moment. all right. I wasn't paying attention then yeah. when they when they came out last time. Okay, yeah, because the guy sounds like a that makes like a cheap Marlon Brando. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, Wish Marlon Brando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish.com Marlon Brando. Wish.com Marlon Brando. (laughs) Well, whichever one of them decides that they want to, like, kind of have a gut first, they need to just start dressing like Tony Soprano coming to the ring. Like, please just come out, like, (laughs) eating freaking gabagool and stuff. Like In a bathrobe. All of it. Yeah, in a (laughs) bathrobe. Cannolis. Oh, be amazing. Yeah, eating a cannoli. That'd be awesome. So, who would you guys say that you would be your in, uh, inspiration or who you looked up to in wrestling, uh, whether it's growing up or kind of now and, you know, individually. And I guess as a tag team as well. 
Ooh. No, do you want to start or do you want me to go? I was say, do you need a minute to think or do you want – because – Look, I I got a couple. I just have to filter and pick my right. top right. okay. two or three. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I know right. what yours are going to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm very vocal about my who my favorites are. Uh, so growing up as a kid, my earliest memories uh, of my, my favorite wrestlers was Kurt Angle because uh, I was a big SmackDown kid growing up because – SmackDown was on Friday, so therefore I could stay up and watch SmackDown. Raw was on Mondays, so you know it's one of those nine. Right, 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 right. So, but Kurt Angle was always one of my favorites, mostly because the "You Suck" chant was really <laughs> yes, like to a four-year-old's brain, like it was yeah, right. Just, that was everything. Yeah, uh, but as I got older, um, I know he's kind of controversial now, but he still is one of my favorites to CM Punk. Uh, CM Punk. God. Kind of, oh, that's I always... totally understandable. I mean, <laughs> well, take, no, it's take not... him being, take him being like a grumpy a hole out of and it. He like, is, yeah, he is. But anyway, is one of the greatest in ring storytellers of all time. Earlier. Not, not grumpy CM Punk man. Well, I, I, well, he's always been grumpy. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But what I always appreciate sure. appreciated about him was not only could he go out there and have these really banger matches. Uh, cause once I started again, when I got even older, that's when I went back and I saw his ring of honor stuff with Joe mm-hmm. and, and Aries and stuff. Mm-hmm. But when I first was interacting with punk, uh, it was the straight edge society stuff with him and gallows right. and, uh, and then the Dude, pipe deep. Right. Right. So, and what I always appreciate about, appreciate about him was his ability to, especially with the story, the storylines that he was given, he was able to, to really get the most out of stories and, uh, just, being able to unapologetically be himself and unapologetically say what he always wanted to say. And I always respected the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. And then as I got even older and kind of when I was starting to really flirt with the idea of wrestling, uh, that's when Nigel McGinnis showed up yes. and Zack Sabre Jr. Showed up. <laughs> yeah. What and would Prod- Nigel do? <laughs> what would Nigel do? Prod- what, would Nigel do? <laughs> what would Nigel do? And it's, it's what awesome. I always, uh, <laughs> Every time when I get like stuck on like what I what I what I would do in a match, he, Prada always is like, "What would Nigel do, dog?" <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Because and the reason why is not and like, not because Aww. he had a really cool, you know, he had the spiky hair and came out to the Clash and yes, right. but it was it was after I watched his documentary on the network when the network was still around and just kind of hearing his life story about how he was on top of the world and then he it was taken away from him so abruptly but then he started to find his it almost kind of reminded me of myself in a way Mm -hmm. especially after you know i did the announcing thing and i was starting to get a little frustrated with the announcing towards the end of it because i i loved wrestling for so long and i wanted to do it and i was and i got to the point where guys were starting to pass me by in my training and i got really frustrated yeah. Which it is what it is, but looking back, I I was appreciative of a the experience and b of uh, that they kind of did that because I feel like it really capitalized on the whole transition. But I digress. I I, I really empathize and I really could connect with Nigel in that way. Yeah. And then Zack Saber Junior is just freaking incredible zach saber jr yes. yeah yes so. um yeah his match he had with uh claudio at forbidden door was awesome yeah um i really hope to i mean i know he's probably gonna just be in new japan the rest of his life but right and i'm cool with that i'm I mean, absolutely cool yeah. with that. i just I, I the thing that sucks for me about new japan is just like it's not as easily accessible right here you know yeah um like I have an account with like New Japan World, so like I and honestly I bought that just to watch Aussie Open versus FTR. Like that was the only oh. reason I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> me, Which, if me you are a fan of tag team wrestling, go watch that match. And I was about um, to say, like in terms of tag teams uh, here lately, uh, just a kind of a lightning round because I don't want to be the only one talking. Uh, is kind of a lightning round. It's Midnight Express, FTR. Uh, Briscoe's uh, Rock and Sock Connection. <laughs> <laughs> They're entertaining. Yeah. Oh, Jeez. and 
fucking <laughs> sock connection. <laughs> Bring you anyway. Um, oh man, <laughs> that that probably be kind of my my teams as of right tag now. Tag team Mount Rushmore. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean Mount Rushmore. I gotta add one more, don't I? Because I said no. I said four, didn't I? No, did I, I said no. Two. You said FTR, Midnight Express, yes. uh, Briscoes, and then uh, the Jericho Appreciation Society. He's oh. getting. Uh, well, I was gonna say I was gonna say Kings Wrestling. I almost missed them, but yeah, those are like my five. Yeah, no, I get it. Hmm. Um, no, I'm with you. I'm a, I'm a big. Uh, uh, I mean, my nickname on here is Big Greg. I mean, I'm seven star FTR baby. Like, <laughs> I love I loved them as the revival. I love them now. I just they're amazing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I kudos, sir. Um, hmm. Cobe, what about you? Man, Mount Rushmore. Um, or just inspirations. Like, what, what, yeah. who were your guys growing up that you were just like, man, I, I want to do that? Well, obviously, growing up, Stone Cold, like, even as a kid, it was what? like, man, he, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, all of it. The what, the what, <laughs> two beers, three beers, <laughs> oh, everything, everything yeah. about Bloody that. Bloody Murray. Oh yeah, and that's the bottom line. Like, Stone Cold said so. Just like the epitome of cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yes, absolutely. But but you know, getting older and seeing and appreciating the uh, you know the the workmanship of it, and you know being a good hand, um, you know in anything. Well, now too, but I w- I would say mostly anything in New Japan. Uh, Prince Devitt, Finn Balor. Yeah, um, he's got a lot of good stuff in there. Um, Anything from pretty much anything in TNA, AJ. Yes, man. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, if you guys can't tell, um, but like, man, it's 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 yeah. there's so many, especially now. There's so much good stuff, and there's along with that, there's plenty of bla- uh, bad stuff. But oh yeah, I mean, just anything, and just I don't know. I'm I'm a big fan of the indies because it's there. Just how much gray area is in professional wrestling in terms of just just working essentially mm-hmm. um but yeah anything tna aj uh finn um i i appreciate how smooth looking back eddie guerrero was mm. um just watching a lot of his stuff how effortless all his stuff was man oh yeah that's oh, what yeah. I, you know these guys I, I mean like we talk about it all the time like we are blessed, like, now we're able to say we grew up watching Undertaker, Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, some of the greatest to ever do it that aren't doing it anymore. Hey, I, hey, give it, man, whatever. <clears throat> whatever. Well, dad's co- I'm What's a dad. Chris <laughs> yeah, I'm a dad, too. The yeah, look, there's brother. there's four dads in here. You need to relax, okay? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The man could Lord wrestle. Mercy. He, he most no, certainly I, could. I, I, yeah. I I no, he, appreciate Ed Wall. Yeah, his in ring, his in ring, uh, what he contributed in ring to the world was yeah, definitely yeah, like what him and him and Jericho, and Malenko, and all those guys used to do. Man, like that. Who is that? I saw awesome. him uh, rolling around on the mat with the other day. It was like ninety seconds. Was it him and Angle just rolling around? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody posted. I think. It the other day I think I Angle actually posted it. It was it. Okay. Did I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah that was... angle was like I've never been able to find somebody to match that intensity. Yeah, he was nuts. I mean, I 100%. I was I was admittedly a fan of Benoit. I mean, the I nickname love... everything, the Rabbit Wolverine. Like, yeah, yes. let's go. Yes, His entrance music, all of it, and then obviously what happened happened. So it's right, like, mm. right. Um, but I think uh, that's been proven that a lot of that wasn't. I mean, that was years of all years the, of on the head. Yeah, you know, brand um, use. But I mean, but, the only problem I have is is with people that uh, still think that Chris Jericho is a good wrestler. Um, oh, I'm I think sorry. Those people are real dumb. Oh, but you like the fat, stupid idiot Kingston? Eddie oh. Kingston, one of the greatest promos and in ring storytellers in the business right now. The fattest, stupidest idiot alive. Yes. Hold on, this All guy right, right. here. Use this strip. Chris the Jericho had the tap. It was not a tap. I had the game between you guys again. Get a cramp. That's all it was. Dance. 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 So uh, I'm getting the feeling that this conversation has happened before. 
happens every show. All the time. All every, the time. I got to keep him we, on it. He thinks I mean, as, Okay, so as somebody <laughs> who has a submission move finish, I can say with 100% confidence that that looked like a, 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 a tap out. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> We got hey. we got to work on this, Noah. We got to work on this. He's a professional, Brando. I mean, he's a professional, but he's just feeling sorry for Big Rig because he cheers for Eddie Kingston. I would, I understand. <laughs> I completely understand. Uh, I love my man Eddie. Um, that's my dude. You can't beat the Ocho. I mean, would you gladly play the clip the clip of his boy Mox saying he's he's the what? No, no, we're not going to play oh, that right now. Oh, we're, not we're not pandering. Yeah. We're not pandering. Yeah. No. Uh-huh. Um, because you know you know what clip I'm going to play that happened one week after that promo. So when he tapped yeah. out to Danielson. Anyway. Um, <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I see, and that's cool. Like, you guys are a tag team with two, I mean, pretty different inspirations. You know what I mean? Like, Kobe's, you know, got the uh, Finn Balor, you know, real high New flying Japan. kind of stuff. And, right. you know, I remember telling, um, like, like I said it's earlier, just cool I was like, that you guys can do that together. So. Wow. I mean, I, I was impressed with you guys the first time I saw you. And I remember Co- Kobe doing something, doing a, a some sort of attack on from the top rope. And then he got hit and he fell down. And I was like, Jesus. And I was just that close to you guys. And I was like, that. That was impressive as shit. Like I was like, wow, these guys are. Impressive. That had to hurt. That's gonna leave a mark. I forget who it oh, was. It does. One of you got hit, and you fell to the ring. And you're like, ow, and you just like. It like, does. Yes. It does. But, I mean, you said you know you appreciate how smooth Eddie Guerrero <laughs> looked in the ring, but that's mm-hmm. when we were at the uh, fight for the future and watching you guys in the ring. That was one thing that we commented on. It's like, God, you guys just look so smooth in the ring. Yes. Like, just velvety you guys just look very polished and you know for two guys is you know young new at stop what are you cheesing about Brad? what are you stop. Cheesing? don't you guys ever get compliments <laughs> no no he's <laughs> laughing no, he's, okay no, he's like, are you yes what do you i know what he's laughing about and did you think it was a shit night no no he there's this running joke <laughs> oh, let us in come on so, so Prod is the high flyer, like you said, right? So mm-hmm. he's a little bit more, um, how do I put this, in tune with uh, springboards and climbing to the top rope. Me, on the other hand, I like to um, say I'm more of a technician, brawler. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't leave my feet. Ver- I can, but I don't do it very often. Mm-hmm. So um, the running joke is, um, when Prod climbs the top rope and does the cool springboard, I'm still on the apron cl- trying to climb up, and it takes me 20 minutes. <laughs> hold on, yeah. guys, hold yeah, on. That's, 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 like, I'm like using the ref for balance. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I Kobe's just, it, Don't get me wrong. Just I sitting up there, compliment. like. Yeah, go. He just grabs a hold of an RVD. What are you doing? Come on, man. Shut oh up. God. I appreciate the compliment, and I'm, and, I'm, no. and I'm flattered. But it was just, but the minute I saw him laugh, I'm like, oh, you poor. Like, why? <laughs> you guys just come off, uh, I was saying, you guys come oh, off as a well oiled machine. So, I, yes. And, and I think kudos a big to you guys, of- and kudos to your trainers. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I absolutely. think a big part of that, yeah. And I think a big part of that is I think I, I firmly believe Prod and I, whatever our weaknesses are, that's the other guy's strengths. And I think that's why we gel so well, honestly. Because mm-hmm. we've been tagging for about a year, year and a half now. And I and I genuinely believe the reason why we've been so successful as a team is because of that. Uh, I mentioned before, <laughs> you know, Prod is very good with the whole high flying, you know flips and just being a natural freak athlete because he is but you know whatever his weaknesses are i like to think i you know kind of make up for and we kind of better ourselves that way i literally like what I was saying. When, I, when i first saw you guys i kept looking over at mappy and i was like dude i was like wow because kobe would do something off the top rope and then you would keep planning and you i was like they blend so well together i kept telling mm-hmm. Matthew that 
I was like, it was just amazing. I said, best match of the night so far, bar none. I can't remember who they wrestle, Matthew. I can't fucking even. I can't even remember. Which but night? <sighs> Which know. night was it, Brenda? <sighs> well, and I mean, like you said, you know, you kind of compliment each other if one guy is more this way, one guy's the other way. Like, was it the COVID. dude in the blue? <laughs> was it the guy, the guy, the money, money? And he had the blue oh, thing. We were calling him Blueberry, and then his. his oh, MC, I finally yeah. learned his name. It's Alex uh-huh. Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> The blueberry thing cracked me the hell up. I we've called, know. yeah. Every show we've been to, he's been called Blueberry, and he finally <laughs> had some black trunks, and I had to learn his name. It was just Didn't funny because like I finally learned his name. <laughs> well, it was that's all anybody would ever say is you know, Chris we're not Demise. Here. Way cooler than you know. That's memorable. Well, Demise you know, is pretty cool. Demise. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's. I mean, he, he has that weird. Clint Eastwood scowl, and he's got that right. money gun that always jams. But you know, besides that, <laughs> I, think, I think I've seen it work one time. Um, it's always, damn it, <laughs> damn it! They'll like give up, and it just <laughs> sprays everywhere. And he's got like you know how like JBL has like those dollar bills. Now he's got those with his face on. Oh him. yeah, I yes. Saw that. Yeah, we saw that spectacular. I was like, damn it, man. Yeah, that's good stuff. And I and I Jay Z suit though was cold. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was that. SOB at first from behind. I guess I should have <laughs> known that. <laughs> yeah, one there. Yeah. All right. Taller. So I I have a so, question. I always ask the all of our guest wrestlers that come on. What is your either worst or hardest bump you've taken? Rod, you can take this one. Um. <clears throat> And I've, I've been either let's I'll say I've been fortunate enough uh, to avoid a lot of bigger bumps. Um, man, that's tough. Oh, I'll say you, what's the hardest. I mean, maybe the move that you know that you we would see more regularly that you wouldn't think would be, you know. I'll Perfect. say well, actually one time in training, <clears throat> his training match against DC, and he gave me a spine buster. And our training ring is, an, I think it's an old boxing ring. Mm-hmm. And man, there's a spring right in the middle. And he gave me a spine buster right onto the spring. <laughs> and like to the point where like he spine bustered me, he covered me, and I didn't feel him cover me. <laughs> like I'm just, I'm just looking at him go for the pin, and I'm just like, oh man. I don't feel him. And I kicked <laughs> out. I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. I kicked out. I should be fine. I should be fine. Either that one or... Uh, I'm paralyzed. Either that or... Uh, into Sadness gave me a, uh, a doomsday yes. neckbreaker. They gave me a doomsday neckbreaker. Sean. And I landed. And I just... And, and I think the ref was like, you good? And I was like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, so either one of those two. Noah, uh, Noah might have on. a little bit more of a. Speaking uh, of real quick, speaking of refs, um, tell <clears throat> Beans. Oh my when god, he's in there refereeing. Um, to go on the other side of the ring and stop standing in the way when I'm trying to watch a match. <laughs> that dude at every show that he is a referee <laughs> happens to be right in front of me every time. We're, we're Figure it out, Beans. You can't, man. He's just trying to rock and roll, man. There's just good. leave I, him alone. Me and Beans are going to go out. Me and Beans are. Beans. What kind of ref are you? Me and Beans are just going to have a, a, a hard, hard conversation about ref. Beans will whoop your <laughs> ass, Brandon. Beans, Beans probably, <laughs> probably would. That's the sad part. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. So yeah. No. Uh, worst. Worst bump. So. So there I was. <laughs> Once upon a time. And, and it's, he laughs because he knows exactly the bump I'm talking about. Because he was, it, it was, it was in our tag match. It was one of the first matches we ever tagged together. Yep. I'll never forget. It was Anika, Chris Tamaz, and some other jabroni. Yep. And <laughs> I'm on the. It was at Bone Crushers. I'll never forget this. It was at Bone Crushers. And I'm on the apron, and I I gave Demise a shot, and. She, and Anika grabs my foot while the referee's back is turned and I'm trying to kick her off and Demise just comes in and blasts me with like, you know, like that big Vader body press blast me with mm-hmm. one of those. <laughs> and what was, 
was supposed to happen, or at least what I tried to make happen, was kind of land on my feet and tuck and roll. That's not what happened. <laughs> what happened was, you see, what had happened was, uh, my foot didn't get out in time, and I landed on the concrete from the apron at Bone Crushers, all tailbone first. <gasps> that's eight, what, what happened after that? Oh. <laughs> He's like he's like crying with a stick. Like, tell him more. <laughs> and then, <laughs> well, I also got to before I tell you what happens next. <laughs> it's funny because I'm reliving it. He comes <laughs> off the apron, and he's like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, <laughs> and he's like, "I'm taking that as a yes," and he leaves. Me. <laughs> I broke my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this is our <laughs> earliest time, back. so we weren't the well oiled machine you see today. Right. Device comes down. He whispers something in my ear, and he gives me a big body slam on the floor. All right, boom. That's official. Next yeah. time you get body slammed on there, he broke his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh my god! Oh my god! He broke oh, his ass. Oh my god! <laughs> so. My back feels like it's on fire at this point. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And towards the end of the match, the jabroni demise was tagging with, pulls me out of the ring, throws me into the post, and when I ate the post, I just landed on my back. So on the floor, by far, that's one of the worst bumps I've ever taken. And then probably a close second. It wasn't even that bad. It was just kind of one of those bumps where it's like, uh okay, was at Sizzler when I was going to do a dive onto Joshua from the top rope, and Andrew Reed climbs up. This is when they were tagging. Climbs up. Mike was there. Yeah. Gloms me and gives me a urinagi onto the top buckle. That kind of sucked. Yeah. (laughs) And then the close third was when Into Sadness powerbombed me through two chairs at Bone Crushers. Yeah, I that that just anytime anybody goes onto a chair, a table, especially a chair, because that you know, I mean, I know there's some give to it, but See, still, there's pointy know, parts I want and to be just put to a table. I don't know what the rib. hell it is. I want to be put to a table. I just and then I, there was, and then when I, I got apron power, then then I got apron power bomb by Sean Evans. That sucked. It's the hardest part of the <laughs> ring. So I yeah. <laughs> My God. You know, I'm oh, starting to think. That, I'm starting to think. His ass. You know, when 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 Kobe said, I, "I'm very very fortunate. I haven't taken a lot of stupid bumps <laughs> because I'm a, been the one taking them." All right, kid. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm gonna going jump over and shit. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna do all the cool things, and uh, you're gonna get the crap kicked out of you. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, kid. Yeah, you're gonna get beat up, and I'm gonna do something cool to get out of it. <laughs> Well, I mean, if Kobe went through it, it'd be a, by God, he's got a family. And then if Noah goes through it. It's like, well, he's a young kid. Uh, he's he's going to miss him. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> he's got an Xbox. <laughs> he's got an Xbox. <laughs> think, of his, think of the games. <laughs> he's got a job to get to, by God. <laughs> by God. Oh. This is a hobby. <laughs> It's just uh, Wendy's. Jesus. <laughs> oh, um, also, I was thinking about this, how you said that you guys are like, you know, two, uh, you could be mesh well together because, <laughs> you know, one can do what the other can't and vice versa. Right. Um, I think, I think that's a really good point. Cause like, I mean, obviously Kobe can grow facial hair and Noah can't. Can't, no. Um, so. <laughs> no, there is you know, no. I, I I wear it on my sleeve that I cannot grow facial. I can grow better facial hair than Luke Larson though. But yeah. that dude Touché. needs to shave whatever is on his lip off. <laughs> I think it's a caterpillar. <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, God love you, Luke Larson, but nah. If there was ever a time to get a <laughs> manscaped <laughs> sponsor, this yes. would be the this, this would be a, this would be the ad read. This would be the ad read. Uh, and you know what? I'm not I at the spooktacular, I was never scared until that one dude came out. The dude that has the Terminator music. Because I didn't oh, see him at the other one. He scared the shit out of me. That's got to be that? the biggest Kyron? dude I think I've ever seen in my life. Kyron. Kyron, yeah. Kyron he, yeah. He's a monster. It's a big boy. I seen him at 
the bar afterwards, and yeah, he was like, "Jeez, wait." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "God, how can they lift that thing?" <laughs> He could literally, like, somebody could try to pick him up. He'll throw him with one yeah, arm. Hey, but Rex ain't no slouch, though. So No, no yeah. I forgot about Big Rex. And then when Rex came, I was like, oh, he's got it. Big Rex has got this, baby. Let's go. He's such a funny dude. Yeah, that's the cool oh. thing, man. It's like everybody's been so receptive of us. And, I mean, I know it's just kind of an indie wrestling thing. But, I mean, it's, you know, we get to kind of live out our little, you know, thing here. And it's it's fun that everybody's been – you know, again, very nice. And any anytime we've asked anybody for their time, everybody's been willing. So we appreciate that. You know, as fans, you guys make the oh, experience God. that much yeah. better. You guys don't even know. Yeah, it's you know, uh, yeah, it's been you it's been a lot of fun for, for next to nothing. And this is just oh, you, know, you guys taking the wear and tear in your body for you know for our pleasure and jeers, I guess. <laughs> Well, Noah, Noah's taking a good Yeah, no, well, Cody's one of you not. Is taking, one of you is taking a beating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kobe, come on, fresh to death Kobe, Kobe Kane over there. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know. I know. You know the, 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 next, the reason why it takes me so long to get up to the top rope is because my hip is out of His place. His back is stupid. Stupid. got His scoliosis. Oh, man. Um, yeah, the next time I see Kobe on the outside acting like he's hurt, I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna holler at you and just be like, <laughs> Noah's up there getting his ass beat. Like, get up <laughs> again. <laughs> Hold on. Here's the thing. Every I'm time I'm on you. the apron, right, while Noah's getting his ass beat, I'm not hurt. All right. I'm just blown up from doing all the cool flippy stuff. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah, I okay. Sure. All right. <laughs> okay. That's what we'll go with here. <laughs> all right, serious question. Which one to use the Janetti? What's a Janetti? <laughs> What's a Janetti? Oh God, kid! Look, I, t- I tell you what, kid. Yeah. Ne- next NWF event you come to, if you come to Ludlow or Bone Crushers, ask Wildcat Chris Harris. Who the Gen- who the Janetti of you two? Who is? the Janetti is? Okay. Or ask Roger Ruffin. No, don't ask Roger. He's always so busy. Roger, 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 Roger Ruffin. Will... No, don't ask Roger because Roger's gonna. <laughs> Roger's gonna. It's the kid, and he needs to hit the gym. Yeah. <laughs> gym, where's he? Oh no! Roger, Kobe, go put him through the window. Roger. Roger. I'm, I'm just waiting for put, the call. Roger's waiting for the gonna, call. Roger's gonna. Well, in all honesty, it probably is prod because he's got a unified title reign that I don't have. So, just off of, you know, resumes alone. <laughs> I did see that in old footage. It's like, oh, wow. That's pretty neat. <laughs> and then I'm probably uh, announcing him to the ring. So, right. right. <laughs> it's a baby Noah. <laughs> it's baby, baby Noah. Baby, what's, baby Noah. What's a genetic? <laughs> what's a genetic? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'll, we'll let you guys make that call for yourself. <laughs> right. Um, well, that's what. Uh, one of the other things that how he was saying like indie wrestling is just so much fun is like the fact that you guys can like incorporate stuff from like years past. Like I was at the swine city show and uh, great King Titan versus Anthony Bryant, the retirement match. And uh, I mean, Titan pulled out the, I love you, the freaking Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels at the end of it. And I'm just like, you piece of shit. Like, (laughs) well, he he did, he did, he did, it was that spot, but he did it. He said the Thanos line, whereas I hope they remember you. Yeah. I I understood Uh, that too. And I, but it was just, (laughs) it, it, like, it was cool, but I was just like, you, uh, That's that's because we have preconceived grudges against them. Well, that's true. Yeah, into sadness. It's uh, also well, and also too. I'm sure Tony wanted that because Tony's like the one of the biggest Shawn Michaels fans that I know of. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, okay. So, um, no, that's not that. I'm not saying it was like a bad thing. No, it was just, no. It was no. one of those things where I was watching it and I heard him say it, and I'm just, I just shook my head. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's you know stuff like that. So, I mean, hell, that uh, that battle royal that you guys had there. That was awesome, man. Like I had no idea what to expect going into that was really well done. And the fact that it like carried over from, because I think it was swinger and uh, bad dudes had that 
trios match earlier in the night and SOB beat him to cost him. And then that was the ending uh, to yeah. the battle Royal. Like that was just a cool, you know, progression. Cause mm-hmm. I mean, you guys obviously aren't on TV every week and everything like that, but the fact that there is, you know, story progression and stuff. I, I just, I appreciate catch that. busting loose. Keep up with the story when you can't make the show. Every every Sunday night at eight PM. You're welcome, Raj. Quick plug. <laughs> I just want Shameless a minute to plug. get him when he's not like going a million miles an hour. It's like during the show I get it. Who, you're Raj? Like, yeah. I always feel I mean, like he's like venting gorilla careful, when I'm there. I, I, I know. I, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I'm always like, hey, like, hey, Raj, he is thanks a very for busy like, man. He is a very busy man, but That's we're gonna it. clip we're this and send it to Roger Ruffin. Look <laughs> yeah. what Noah said about you. Look what Noah said. Look yeah. at Barry Brand Jeff. new tag team champions. <laughs> 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 Look what Janetti said. Yeah, that's the sharp brothers. That's when the, the Janetti match will happen. <laughs> or better yet, Prod just stays tag team champion. And he just gets to change partner out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where's the kid? He's at the gym. He broke his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he broke now, his I, ass. Okay, I gotta, I gotta ask that. Is, is uh, Cat ever like pull like the? Uh, I mean, he doesn't seem like he's like an egotistical guy. But is he ever like back when I wrestled, you know, James Storm in a Texas Death <clears> Match <throat> or you know shit like that? Like, does he ever pull that out? Like when he's like hammering on you, or just he just does it to do it? You know, that's a question for Noah. Um, I think he's the one that gets hammered. Um, well, that's who I was directing it at, really. Oh, oh, obviously, that's obviously that's Kobe, of, Kobe's of, the golden boy of this tag team. Out of, so that, out, of wrong. Of us, oh, out, dang. Of, out of this team, it could be it could be Prod's fault, and I'm the one that still gets yelled at. <laughs> he nods because it's true, because it's happened before. It's 100 percent true. It's just like being married. <laughs> and, and it's 100% like, true. And I'm like Cat, with all due respect, I'm not yelling back at you, but why the hell are you yelling at me? Like, <laughs> and, and, oh. and then he's like, well, kid. I don't know why I give him a Johnny Ace voice. Well, he's like, well, kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, kid. I, I really want this team to do good. And Dude. he's like, yeah, but it's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna clip this show well, together. Go ahead, the gym. Go ahead. There's two of us. <laughs> we're gonna clip this show together and just send it to Raj and Cat and just be like, "Look at Noah just burying you guys, he's comparing Cat to Johnny Ace, telling Roger he's." Just... Well, when I do a Raj, when I tell a Raj story, I always, I always give him, I always yeah. give him a Raj. Vinny Mac. Oh. That's, that's how I. That's how he sounds in my head. Like when he talks to me, that's what I hear. Be like, no, I tell you something, pal. No, did you watch Dynamite last week? <laughs> it freaking sucked. Oh, I, was, no. I, was, I was like, why is that, Raj? He's like, that one girl ref, she just jumping everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Making a does better he, fit out of the business. Is he more critical of the, uh, of, the, of the refs than workers on the shows? He holds a, a softer spot for the refs <clears> than the right. streamers do. I, I don't know about a higher regard, but he definitely. No, I mean, like, does he is he harder on him, like to the point where like he'll because see, my dad is like a shoot basketball official, so like we'll be watching like a basketball or a football game, and my dad, I swear, pays attention to them more than he does the actual <laughs> game going on. <laughs> I mean, look at him holding his whistle like that. Yeah, seriously, he'll be like, ah, it's not right. It's not that's even not right. legal. <laughs> that's not even legal rated. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, you coach high school basketball. Like, these are NFL officials. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, love you, I mean, Dad. I mean, I'm um, sure that'd be a question you have to ask him, though. But I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I've just seen a lot of people, like, uh, not a lot, but I've seen, like, online people saying, like, Remsburg and the guys like that, like, they're too animated, like, with their facial expressions and stuff. I've never really paid that much attention to it, but. I guess there's some people out there that actually look to see what the refs are doing and stuff. I'm I'm focusing on the match. I don't really look right, at them right. all that much. Um, but I know he was an official for a long time, right. so I didn't know if he, you know, would watch it and be like looking at that rather than looking at Ray Phoenix doing a 450. <laughs> well, he well he hates that too. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not his style. He's, well, no, he's the he, da- right. he's the FTR of 
indie wrestling. If if I was about to say if if end up if NWF is Smoky Mountain, Roger Ruffin is Jim Cornette. That's the yeah. best. <laughs> <laughs> so he loves the Young Bucks, is what you're telling me. Oh man, oh, yeah, yeah. posters of them on his wall. I <laughs> bet. I'll what did bet. he call them? The... <laughs> and then, well, it was funny because when Carl Anderson was like on AEW, he's like, I only like them. Until they until they sign Chad, but until then, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of a oh, booking nightmare. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But that's the thing. Chad's friends with the Bucks. What's what's? I feel like that's a betrayal, man. Bullet Club for mm-hmm. life. Well, half his friends are on one team, and the other half of his friends are on another team. But one team has more money than the other team. Uh, so. True. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, you gotta take care of number one, you know. Yeah, but 100. I was talking to Kobe before uh, we actually hit the record. Was that you know just complimenting the style and that you know you said Roger's not a fan of the 450 splash and stuff like that. It was like that's one thing I do notice, you know, between him and we actually interviewed uh, Jack Vaughn, who's a former NWF alumni, and just kind of that style is just call it safe, um, but. You know, it's it's nice to see that you don't have to go, you know, and put yourself in complete danger of breaking your neck or all this. Not that you guys aren't at any risk, but, you know, it's it's a more you do a good job of protecting yourself. Right. But still keeping it very, very entertaining. Right. So and Roger a, doesn't and Roger doesn't hate the quote unquote flippy shit either. Yeah, it's it's. You know, he just his thing is there's a time and a place for it. And when right. when and if it makes sense rad yeah. his issue is is you know people doing flips for the sake of flips it now, takes it takes a right. glimmer off it a little right right and you know prod and i have come up in a generation where you know <clears throat> the ricochet will osprey from battle of the super juniors a few years ago right. you know, oh, God. We, that's you know <laughs> as much as me and him are will geek out about that match you know raj is uh oh who was it that hated it, it was it was vader he was like well what are they doing <laughs> like that sort of just gargles so I'm all, after this i'm only gonna picture roger ruffin sitting at that table like being the vince mcmahon like i'm gonna imagine like somebody sneezes next to him and he yells at him <laughs> like just <laughs> <amazing. laughs> yeah like, star rider what are you doing <laughs> Dude, you need to go hit the gym rider you you're looking a little pasty. You need to go tan. You need to go tan. <laughs> Jesus. Now clip um, that and send it to Cat. Oh, it's happening. That's the one you need to we're clip sending, right there. We're, <laughs> we're starting a shit storm on social media with the NWF. Next thing you um, know, you see a future Endeavor tweet. <laughs> Noah Gabriel has. <laughs> we wish him the best in his future endeavors. Um <laughs> No, we had actually talked about like how just uh, we appreciate like you guys coming on here and um, just being a part of the show as as fans. Um, obviously, we're not like in there doing stuff, but it just makes us feel like oh, we're you know we're in on it type thing. We're part of the show. Uh, I mean, it's we've to the point where life. we've we've fantasy booked like dude we could do like our own like NWO sold out, but instead of S O U L, it would be S O L E D. Like New Balance souls, and you know shit like that. So that's just that's who we are. Um, just planting the seeds now. Uh, Wildcat Chris Harris, uh, Roger Ruffin. If you're watching, NWO sold out. Um, next summer, Sizzler will uh, we'll take over Sizzler. the show. Who, who? What would be some of the matches you'd put on that card? If we could Ooh, flip that, the role, if we could flip the roles a little bit, that okay. guy would definitely hit the magnificent missile at some point. I'm telling you, if it happens, he's doing it. We'll, we'll defer to our fantasy booker. The fantasy man, come on now. <laughs> um, I tell you a match I'd like to see is is ahead. I've already started fantasy. I already had started it. Uh, was Star Rider versus Rex, the David versus Goliath match yeah. for the strap. Like just one on one, yeah, that'd be cool. I think that'd be, that'd be I fun. Mean, I'm, like a like a Taker versus had Mysterio before. type match, you mm-hmm. know. Like that'd be awesome. Just um, 
I don't know, man. Uh, I'd like to see. Rex are we or- allowed to fantasy book ourselves into this, or is it just current <laughs> NWF roster? I mean, it's your show, dog. The way I the way I see it, like. Ooh. I mean, if it's my Anybody. show, I'm gonna I'm gonna TNA 2007 Jeff Jarrett this thing, and I'm winning all the belts. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> And you can choke us. on that, slap nuts. Um, hmm. If I can, uh, if I can interject, I'm on one percent on my phone. Oh man! So if I die out, um, then I die out. I'm gonna try to find. A if, he dies, if he dies, if he dies, he dies. If he dies. I can't find a charger. Um. But what's? I want to get one more thing in. What are your guys' favorite all-time matches? All-time? All-time. All. Oh. Anybody? My, like, sing, like, any kind of match. All-time Anything. favorite match. Anything. A single match. Oh, Jesus. My, mine's a toss-up. Mine's a toss-up between Taker and Triple H with HBK in the Hell in the Cell or the very first TLC between Edge, Christian, the Hardy Boys and the Dudleys. It's those two. I, God, <laughs> those two to me. Yeah, I would go with you know any of the 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 WrestleManias with uh, Taker and <clears throat> excuse me Triple H or Shawn Michaels. I'll you the know Taker, this match was just Shawn Michaels was ridiculous. Just, but was just, uh, Kenny Omega Daniel Bryan matches were were some of it was just incredible incredible match when they went to a draw jesus that was no that was uh danielson and hangman uh, the, well the the, the the draw was <coughs> omega and danielson only went once they went for a half hour at grand slam and then danielson and hangman went twice the first one went to a draw and the second one went like 45 minutes or something like that both of both of which were amazing um god all-time favorite match that's so hard. Um, <laughs> can we say like singles match and tag team match, or because yeah. like there's so many that it's like they're show, different. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's my show. Uh, b- 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 <laughs> Honestly, uh, FTR and Briscoe's one was one of the greatest tag team matches, if not the greatest tag team match I've ever seen in my life. That was. Uh, it was magic. Like it, it just was. Um, and not that the second one was like worse or anything. It was just like, that was the first time ever type thing. So it, I don't know something about it. Um, God, it's difficult. Uh, I mean, honestly, like from a technical standpoint, like Brett and Owen WrestleMania 10 was, like me and Mike just watched that a couple weeks ago, and that was we were saying like, dude, like there's still people that are doing this stuff today. That match like, they were so today, and it's still freaking ahead of their time. Like current, just it, that was awesome. Um, but honestly, I would say all time favorite would probably be um, Brett and uh, Austin uh, in the I Quit where he passed out with the crimson mask. Um, that's probably my singles all time favorite for sure. So they haven't announced the uh, opponent for you guys for the anniversary show yet that I know of. Um, and as of late, the, the friction has been with these young sharp cats, these jabronis, fugazis, okay. um, any, any, any leads on where the competition is going to come? Who's coming for the belts next? It don't matter. Noah's ready. <laughs> he's got to hit the gym first but he's yeah. got yeah, to hit the gym first maybe get a tan and then i'm gonna get a i'm gonna make a sign that's then no i hit the gym oh we're just gonna have was... a hit the gym sign <laughs> got your back buddy <laughs> there will be a broke he broke his oh. ass i can promise you that oh. um oh man that's a that's a good question um Man, to be know. determined. Yeah, TBD. To be determined. All right, we'll we'll go to be we'll go TBD. We don't want to TBD. Plug the, inter- plug the anniversary show, guys. Yeah, we're just about to talk yeah. about that. Uh, you guys want to 
an intro to that 27th yeah. anniversary? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Do you want to intro or you want me to intro? Us? No, it's all you. Oh, okay. NWF Encyclopedia, as I like to call you. No, no. Well, dog, it's because I was a commentator for two years. <laughs> I, 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 I had to know all this stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like to. It's like it's cool, but I had to. Like, I, I have notes somewhere. No, or... it's it's okay. I'm the like resident, like between us three when we're watching wrestling. Like, yeah. I'm the obscure wrestling knowledge guy, yeah. so I get it. Yeah. So, hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, the NWF celebrates 27 years on November the 26th at Hits in Covington. Uh, to put a little bit of perspective on how long the NWF has been around, we've lasted longer than ECW, WCW, Smoky Mountain, and uh, some and Impact is still going, but we have but we've lasted longer than them too, and Ring of Honor. So we lasted longer wow. than TNA. Yeah, <laughs> well, T- <laughs> okay, Impact, yes, TNA, no, but but it is it. So just to kind of put that into perspective, wow. Um, was, again, we celebrate 27 years. We have our Hall of Fame ceremony, and we're putting in Outlaw Matt Stevens, who's a former tag team and unified champion, and we're putting in uh, Brody Cormick, who's a former tag team partner of Alex Hayden, and there he goes. I knew he was. Hey, he's gone. Oh, but well I'll, 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 I'll keep I'll keep talking. Uh, Brody Cormick, who is a former tag team partner of Alex Hayden, together they were the Everyday Players, oh. and uh, they were also former tag team champions. And I believe Cormick was also a former Unified Champion. I believe I have to go back and triple check. Uh, I love yeah. to read your notes. Sorry, uh, they're somewhere, <laughs> dog. Uh, and yeah, so they're both going to the Hall of Fame this year, and both well deserved. But we also have a couple couple matches. Uh, we have a six man tag sign with MCE taking on Swinger, Lotus, and Pompano Joe. That'll uh, be awesome. I'm excited for that good. one. Yeah, yeah. That's I as somebody who has been in the ring with all six of them personally, both in singles and in tag action, it's going to be incredible. Yeah. Uh, James Cross gets a NWF title shot against Star Rider. Uh, Rex takes on Chiron, and if Rex wins, he gets five minutes in the ring with Gideon Weinstein. Yes. <laughs> oh, to God, he wins. <laughs> I, I, I won't. I'm not a betting man, but I think that's something that uh, the people want to see. So, oh, oh yes, <laughs> oh yes, this guy being one, and then two rematches. Since the first one was so successful, they decided to run it back. Nikki Victory takes on Riley Matthews. That was awesome. match. Yeah. And also, Andrew Reed gets another shot against Joshua. And you're talking about, you know, Genetti's and tag team breakups. You know, that's one that's kind of still fresh in everybody's head. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They, they were teaming for two years, and, you know, they were tag champs for eight months. And, you know they were they they beat a lot of guys doing doing so, but at the same time, you know it, it was it was Andrew Reed's time, and I believe Cat said on our own NWF podcast that he always saw something in Andrew Reed, and I have to agree with Cat. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Reed had when I met Andrew Reed, he was considered the guy when he was still in the Future Stars division, like everybody looked up to him he was still kind of a dick but it was one of those things to where you, like man i hate this guy but i also kind of respect all the hard work he's been doing and then right. fast forward he's in this team with josh and the whole nikki thing and now he's on his own now i feel like he can finally let his just kind of be himself and i'm happy for him but i feel like he can't fully be himself until he can shed joshua yeah full. absolutely so oh, excuse me uh i believe that is i have to go back in my notes because i believe uh we got a dozer dozer memorial battle Royal. oh yeah 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 dozer uh dozer is a, one of our hall of famers he was very beloved uh by everybody he was in the peels palace days with cat and uh prince justice for better known as abyss uh, so we in memoriam to him, we have this battle royal every year. And Lotus is a former winner of this battle royal. D 
DC is the only back-to-back winner of this battle royal. So uh, whoever wins this battle royal is projected to do big things in the upcoming year. So because DC, the first time DC won the battle royal, like two months later, he was tri-state champ. And then when DC, after DC won the battle royal, oh, did we lose Mike? We lost Mike. Mr. Magnus? I think I bored him. I bored him. No, we're just we're losing everybody right now. Tag on. Hmm. Um, um, but yeah, so it's 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 whoever wins, you can expect big things out of out of them in the upcoming months because it's always kind of been. You can call it a luck thing. There he is. Ah. there he is. Uh, so is the the battle royal? There's no like uh, title shot or anything for winning. Just kind of a. It's there. There's a there's a trophy. There's a dozer c- memorial cup that the person is awarded okay. right. but uh so it's i don't want to call it i don't want to say it's like our andre the giant battle royal but it kind of is it, yeah yeah no i get it um so, well i mean from the uh the first one i saw you guys put on a hell of a battle royal so i'm excited for that yeah um, they're, they're always fun they're always they're they're it's chaotic but it's a good chaotic because you can never you never know what's going to happen and you never well, know that- that was the best part about the one I saw is it that was the it was the one at uh Swine City Brewing. And it was outside, it was dark. Like yeah. it was just it was, uh, you want to talk about chaotic. Like yeah. <laughs> like I know you guys had lights on and everything, all, but like thing, it was getting cold and everything and it, it, yeah, it, man. It, it there was an element to it that just made it cool. And what you may not know is Cat was like nobody wear jackets to the ring. <laughs> That's for real. <laughs> for real. He was like, nobody, nobody wear jackets. Y'all are a bunch of pussies. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's a cat. Calm I down. love it. He's such a bitch. So basically, whoever's, whoever's ring gear uh, was the uh, Speedo and Boots was having a bad night that night. Yeah. Like, 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 of course, you could, like, wear it, like, behind the curtain. But, like, once it was time right. for you to go, you had to get it whatever so it was one of those nights where i'm very thankful i wore long legs but also too when you're it was dark and when you're running it's on mulch and like the entryway isn't right like a straight line it's kind of like one of these things <laughs> oh yeah it was like this yeah you're yeah, like oh, was, where am i going yeah so i'm i'm just waiting for somebody to just trip and fall and to do the titus o'neill slide yeah, and fall. yeah. well yeah. you can't really slide because it's mulch so it's kind of more just a face plant Come right on. yeah absolutely mulch sticking in well that's that's where that's where somebody's gonna fake that one time and then bring mulch into the ring and like launch it into somebody's face pocket Pocket mulch yeah but no yeah uh our anniversary is is a very big is a very big time uh doors are at six the hall of fame ceremony is at 6 30 and the bell is at 7 30 i kind of compare it to uh our summer slam it's Again, one of the biggest nights of if you're in the greater Cincinnati area, I, on behalf of Roger Ruffin and the NWF, highly encourage you to come out. You can get your tickets at nwfwrestling.com, at Discondat in Florence, or at Hits itself. I think that's everything. It's been a while since I was the announcer commentator, so... You do a great job, Noah. Thank you, thank you. Hey, man, we're uh, we're, yeah, we're I just, planning on being there, man. It's it's gonna be a yeah. good one. We yeah, a lot, of, a lot of Noah's performance tonight. I just want to point out that he wins Sports Entertainer of the Week. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Me? Right. Do you do you want that award? <laughs> oh, now I understand. Now I understand. <laughs> Let's it's, face it's, it. It's the Jericho. Sports entertainers always beat professional wrestlers. All right. Yeah, but yeah, but. Let me rip it right in front of your face. You can't. You can't. You can't. I wipe my ass with it. You can't hurt a god. Watch me. I'm gonna do that. You never on played next god stream. Of as soon as Jericho loses that title, <laughs> I'm gonna take guy. this and just I'm just gonna cut it up right on on, a, on air. Send you a video of it. Yeah. <laughs> Say it again, and the patch gets it. <laughs> All right. Um, well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, 27th anniversary show. That is going to yeah. be awesome. Dads will be in attendance, of course. For sure. Um, I will I... be uh, running from work to get there on time. So I'll probably be there like right at Bell, but uh, I will be there. So, yeah. And I, and I, me and Prod will be there too. Who we, who we will be wrestling, it is to be determined. 
But any tag team feeling a little froggy feels like they they can take they can take these away from us. Go ahead. But like I've said before, Prod and I, we have teamed for over a year, year and a half, and we have proven time and time and time again there the the list of tag teams we beat to get these and to keep these are as extensive. So if you're if you're a tag team out there, it doesn't even have to be with the NWF. I mean, we can we can skip the strays, we can skip the sharps, we can skip MCE because God knows we've beaten you several times for them. We can skip into sadness, and same applies to those guys. I mean, I, we could be talking to any team, you know, Dayton, uh, uh, Lexington, Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky, West Virginia, Chicago. It doesn't matter because Claude and I are the top tag team in the NWF. You know what? No, not just the NWF. The greater Cincinnati area in general. And Prod doesn't like to talk a whole lot, so I do a lot of the talking. Usually that gets us into a lot of trouble. So if you're listening to this, and again, (laughs) you're feeling a little froggy, hit up Roger Ruffin. Hit up Commissioner Cat. Cat's probably going to tell you to hit the gym, but after he tells you that... (laughs) He's going to say, all right, you want a shot at Cannon Gabriel? Be my guest. But I'm just letting you know, you guys are in for a run for your money because we are the top tag team in Cincinnati, Ohio, and we're just getting started. I love it. It's like he he heard it. It's like he heard it. Oh, I just cut this really cool promo, Kobe. It's you like you probably he wouldn't. It. Have... It's like he wrong. called out the Usos. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. He <laughs> called out FTR, Usos, Briscoes. Said, "Let's have a fatal four-way tag team match at anybody. Hits and Covington." Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's typing. Oh, he can't hear. Is he typing? Oh, he can't hear. He can't hear. I um talked <laughs> about these. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did. Awesome job. Well, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Once again, we thank you guys for your time. Yeah, uh, no yeah. this it's has been, been a blast. Dude, this is awesome. awesome. I expected nothing less. It's been awesome. We definitely have to get you guys back on, please. Oh yeah. Dude, I, yeah. I name a time and you know I'm I'm usually available. I know I know Kobe has Well Damn actually dude. I was gonna say, do you so do you guys still watch uh like the product? it's kind of one of the things we always ask. Do you watch like current products on TV or oh you jerk <laughs> charge your phone. It, it, again, it's like it's like p- usual tag, like prod, help me. Oh, man, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, let me catch my breath, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> um watch but product. yeah like do you, yeah. do you watch you know smackdown dynamite whatever um on a regular basis or just kind of when you can catch it type thing um so yeah yes and no i i usually watch whatever's on twitter instagram highlights if right. i know uh, if there's for some reason a TV match that kind of catches my attention, I'll watch it. But chances are I'll turn it on and have it in the background. Uh, but I'll usually I, I like to watch a lot of excuse me, a lot of wrestling from different eras and from different regions mm-hmm. of the world. Um, like right now, my big thing is old Memphis wrestling. I love old mm-hmm. Memphis wrestling. Uh, just watching Jerry Lawler just yeah dominate. Yeah. Uh, I got my buddies hooked on to Smoky Mountain Wrestling. There's a playlist on YouTube where it's like all their TV. So I just sent oh, that yeah. Yeah, and got that hooked on them. Me and uh, another buddy of mine who is also a wrestler, we're really big into <laughs> we're really big into all Japan. So we'll watch Misawa yeah. just murder fools. So it's I, I like to watch a lot of things and I like to incorporate uh, that into whatever my, my match of that week, if I know what right. I'm doing or just in training in general, like I'll get in with one of the coaches or with somebody that I can, I, I trust fully 
and I'd be like, hey, man, let me try this on you. Or yeah. so. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Well, I was going to say, because like we usually our shows are Thursdays and Sundays and we usually talk about, you know, any of the big matches that happened on Raw, Dynamite, SmackDown, Rampage, you know, what have you. Any if it's a pay-per-view. Right. Um, so if there's a, ever any uh, crazy match or anything like that, you want to come on and talk about it, by all means. Like yeah. uh, uh, Kitsuyuri Shibata is facing Orange Cassidy tonight. Like that, I, I I don't even know. Like I was super excited about it, but I'm also like, is he? Can he do this? Like I. <laughs> so I I had to explain to Raj what Shibata was at training the other day. Really? Yeah. Well, you got to think, Raj. Raj is a lot. Raj has seen a lot in like he. New Japan to him, again, unless Carl Anderson's on there, he doesn't give a damn. Right, okay. So he's very WWE, like whatever he can easily access on TV. Right, or yeah. It's just, and, you know, so I had to explain to him who Shibata was, and of course I got to the headbutt. And he's like, why would anybody want to do that? <laughs> and, I <was> like, <laughs> and I was like, well, Rod, he's um, got, like, that's just Shibata, man. It's just. Just, Have you ever watched a Minoru Suzuki match? Like they just enjoy it. Right, right. I'm like, Raj, you know? just, that's just kind of the style that they like, you know? Like I love that style. When when me right. and Dakota Wolf wrestle one on one, that's all we do is just really? beat is just ran it into each other. Well, that's why that's why I'm a, such a big Eddie King smart, because like obviously he's you know loves all Japan and you know grew up watching it and everything like that. So like any all of his stuff is just let's like him and Ishii on the freaking pre-show for all out was amazing. Yeah. Just them just beating the absolute hell out of each other. So, uh, yeah, yeah. when I saw Shibata come out, I was just like, I, you know, cause I never thought, I know he's done like the two like exhibitions or whatever, but I'm like, right. I didn't think he was going to do an actual match. And, well, uh, so yeah. I'm excited to watch that, but yeah. What's nice. And I guess this is kind of smart on Tony's, is the fact that he's wrestling Orange Cassidy and right. so yeah. doesn't have to wrestle. I mean, and that's the thing too. Orange Cassidy can wrestle if, if you haven't watched his Chikara stuff. Like he can right. wrestle. No, he can he can go, man. Yeah. And that's what people don't get. They see it and they're like, oh, who's this guy? He's a comedy wrestler. No, dude, it's a mind game. Like that's right. I've said that, you know, the entire time I've been watching him. And uh I know Shibata said something about he wants to face he wanted two matches in AEW. He wanted Orange Cassidy and Danielson. Yeah. And if they're going to do it, I think Orange Cassidy is the first one you do, obviously, because it's like, well, he can work a softer style with him. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And make sure he can go. And then when he goes against Dan, because, you know, he goes against Danielson, that ain't going to be no soft, soft hitting affair. Like no. they're going to go at it. So, um, but yeah, uh, just yeah, it's if you yeah. ever want to come open on, open invitation to yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Place, and please. you really gotta and well, me and AJ, me and AJ, I mean, me and Prod are good friends. We're 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 cool. But if you get me, Prod, and AJ, because AJ is like one of my best friends in the whole world. If you get us three, it's we might take over the podcast I, by accident. No, I I, I oh. love like I guess like the chemistry you guys have just because oh, right. there's different moments of like just kind of this unspoken shit between you guys, and that's I, I love I love that. Yeah. That's great shit. Yeah. yeah, I I I wish all the best for for AJ and the announcer to wrestler transition because like, like I said before, I I I was in that boat, and you know I've grown pretty successful because of it. No, no right. doubt. Yeah. Heck yeah. Um, well, we are, uh, approaching the hour 40 mark on this. So I think we're going to wrap up. Uh, thank you again for coming on. Really appreciate it. Um, I'd thank Kobe, but I'm sure he's, you know, charging his off. Phone. He's doing a back, charging his phone. He, he, get back <laughs> you know, probably hitting the gym. Unlike Noah, who's sitting on his couch. So, um, I got, I got dumbbells somewhere around here. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> I, I do. Um, <laughs> All right, man. Well, I appreciate you coming on. Thank um, you so much. 27th anniversary show, November 26th. 26th. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Saturday after Thanksgiving. Check it out. Top Dads out. Dad, dad, dad. Oh, oh.